So several years ago I made a video about women comparing too much and I I think it's a subject that needs to be spoken about a little more often, not every few years. <laughs> um, but it's been on my heart lately um, because it's been in several discussions that have come up in my life with different friends and different women. Um, and it just breaks my heart because what it really, really boils down to um, in when we compare ourselves to other people is, um, I mean, it could be a variety of, of reasons why um, discontentment, um, selfishness, pride, uh, wanting man's praise instead of the Lord's, and then neglecting to praise God for the good he's done. And it, it divides. It, it doesn't do any good when you compare. Not only are you in sin because you're discontent and you're only thinking about yourself and what you want, um, but you're causing division because you're losing the opportunity to fellowship with a fellow sister in the Lord because you feel too intimidated by her or um, you've put yourself as inferior to her um, instead of the right mentality of looking at a sister in the Lord or a brother in the Lord, whoever, and praising God for the gifts he's given them and then praising God for the gifts he's given you and just believing and knowing that God made everybody different and loving that not wishing you were this or you were that but being thankful for how God made you and embracing who God made when he made you and um, so contentment is a huge problem I think and then not just not praising God you know for seeing other people's gifts and strengths and instead of shrinking away from them and getting away from them, learning from them, or if it's something that you're just never gonna be, praise God for their gift and praise God for your gift. You know, like we all learn from each other. We all have something to offer each other. Um, it's not like this person is the best and this person is the worst. There, everybody has some quality and some gift and some strength and some ability that God has gifted them with. And it's going to be very different from person to person. Some people's may be very outward and some people's may be very inward. And they, we all complement each other. I mean, think about Ephesians 4 when it talks about the body and how every part of the body is needed. And every part of the body is part of the function of the body. And so when you think about that and then you think... I want to be like her, I want to be like her, I want to be like her. Okay, well, what if we were all the same? Then it, there, would be, there would be a lot of holes in the needs of the body and the community of the church. And so don't focus on what you're missing. Praise God for what they've got and how God's using them to fill that hole in the body. And praise God for what you have been given by him and how you're filling that hole in the body. Um, and then you can come together and enjoy fellowship instead of stay separated and be isolated and alone and believing lies from Satan. Um, it's exactly what Satan wants to do. Make you feel that you're inferior and cause division in the body. And I mean... Heart issues are very profound, so there's no way to cover all the sins that can come out of this. But I mean, I've covered a few, um, you know, discontentment and and selfishness and pride and, and division, losing the opportunity for fellowship. But even bitterness can come out of this. If you let it run its course, uh, you know, getting bitter at someone for being a certain way that you want to be like and you're not instead of praising God for how he made you and praising God for how he made them that can cause even more damage you know like it's just really sad um, so we need to be first of all we need to have renewed minds and see God's beautiful design and praise him for it 
Second of all, we need to be on guard. We need to protect the body. We are to be together, linking arms, enjoying fellowship, encouraging one another, walking through this hard life together. How are we gonna do that if we're bitter or discontent or always focused on what we want to be like this person or that person instead of seeing God, God's amazing blessing and gifting us all in different ways so we can come together and reach the world um, with his gospel. Let's be a little less focused on ourselves and a little more focused on ministering together and sharing the gospel with others and on the Great Commission because we spend far too much time sitting around being discontent and complaining and wanting this or that or this or that and not enough time linking arms and going out to minister and to share the gospel with the world um, and to encourage one another in, in the wonderful ways that God's gifted each one of us. So I um, wanted this message to be a little bold because I think that sometimes tough love is necessary. You know, like I want to tell those who compare and compare and compare and, or are bitter or are constantly just thinking about what they want and don't have. Stop, you are in sin. Uh, praise the Lord for his gifts in your life and praise the Lord for his gifts in others' lives. And um, flee from sin, fight sin, mortify sin, and seek to unite the body. Don't do what Satan wants and allow division and dissension and conflict and let's not look like the world <laughs> let's be set apart so that the world sees the way we love each other the way the scripture commands us the world will know who we are by our love for one another if we're letting comparison and discontentment and bitterness and selfishness divide the world is not going to look at us and say wow what do they have that we don't understand and come to christ they're just going to say the only difference between them and us is that they go to church on Sunday morning. That's it. And that shouldn't be that way. So let's repent and let's move forward, embracing who God made us to be, glorifying him with our lives through the gifts he's given us, and looking around and praising God for how he's made each of our brothers and sisters and the beautiful part that they play in the kingdom.